Hello, Zebra Herd. Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. As you can see, it is Tom Nook talking to us. It's 11, 16 a.m. on this happy Monday, March 23rd, 2020. Now for today's news. Ta-da! Today, Stripe has its very own museum. You can even see it in the background over there behind the bulletin board. Oh, yes, it's a grand museum indeed with separate exhibit rooms for insect, fish, and fossils. Blathers, the museum creator, says he's always available to accept donations or assess fossils. And we have so many donations already lined up for him. And museum admission is free, so stop by whenever you like. By the way, whenever we cover big island developments like this, we'll hold a special commemorative ceremony afterwards. We'd like as many folks as possible to take part, so stop by resident services if you're interested. That's all for me. Time for you all to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. All right, so yeah, the, the museum is open. We can donate a lot of stuff. We can really start making some major progress with that. I'm very much so looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, awesome. Of course, this is sort of one of the bigger things we've been working towards to in the game is getting the museum up the open. And look, our flowers are finished growing. Everything is going well. I don't know really if there's too much more of a purpose to water them, but I'm going to try. And is there maybe a, uh, a fossil spot right next to us. Did that water all of them? All of them but this one. And then there's another flower popping up here. I don't remember placing this one, but here it is. Isn't that cool? And yeah, let's go over this way real quick. We'll pull up our shovel and we'll dig this up. Will it be another fossil? You bet it will. So we now have, I think, five fossils we need assessed by uh, Blathers. So very good start to today's episode as well. It's also nice to see the game nice and sunny again. The last two episodes we've been doing it during the nighttime. So yeah, we're back during the sunny time, the nice early morning. Why well, say that? It's 11 a.m. Not really that early anymore. But yeah, what we need to do is first probably, I wanted to put some of this stuff in here just like that. That's the succulent. Maybe I should put that outside or no? Uh, this is the bird bath, which I need to put outside, and the stone stool, because these are things we bought, or per no, we didn't purchase them. We made them last episode, so definitely go check that out. I've been having so much fun with this game, so hopefully you guys have been too. Uh, so, yeah, we'll put the bird feed over this way, the bird bath, I mean. There we go. And then a nice little stool. I might have to turn around or something. It'd be cool if the birds actually come down to enjoy it, but we can just sit down and watch the birds if we wanted to. Oh, that's so cute, I love it. All right, so let's also check out what Nook Miles we've earned up, because I'm sure there's a couple, right? Uh, island Shutterbug, congratulations on taking your first island photo. Please do show off your wonderful photos, whether they're impulse snaps or brilliant compositions. I think we did that last episode, so we get 300 points for that one. Photogenic Photographer and Exterior Decorator. You can display furniture outside, right? Well, here's a little incentive for you to show off what you've got. You'll earn Nook Miles based on the number of furniture items you st set up outside. So there we go, 300 points. Anything else? Yeah, Active Island Resident. Life on the island has lots of promise, hmm? To illustrate this, I'll award you some Nook Miles based on the number of active days you've spent here. Please take them and enjoy them. So there we go, uh, 300 more miles. So yeah, th this is, our fourth day, actually, in the game, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, so that's a little weird, but I don't mind either way. And what are some of our uh, more relative tasks? We have like grow fruit trees. We're working on it. Um, catch fish, catch bugs, redeem Nook Miles. Uh, so we'll, we'll be getting to some of these throughout today's episode. Definitely the fish and bugs. Um, speaking of which, though, we need to go back into our house and figure out the uh, organization of all of our stuff. There's lots of stuff that we have in storage that we'll be taking out so that we can donate it and I probably want to move this around somewhere. I'm just gonna move it a little bit out of the way for now. So storage will be, oh, wrong one, whoops. This right here, so we just need to move everything to our pockets. We have all sorts of different bugs and fish, a hermit crab, a roar roach, snail, and we'll try our best to continue finding more and more stuff throughout today's episode so that we can continue to donate that. If I have an extra time, I definitely want to go to a new island so that we can also, um, uh, try to find some more iron nuggets. That would be super duper helpful. So there's not like more than one page, is there? I don't think so. So yeah, we were actually basically full in our storage there. So it's very nice to be able to clear that out. And now things should be much easier to uh, store and maintain and everything because we also got a larger inventory last episode, which is almost filled up with goodies. Oh, look at our tree growing. I'm so proud. Let's go ahead and water it. No, no, sorry tree. Wait, can I not water it? There it goes. Don't know if that actually does anything, but I might as well try, you know? And here's the museum, wow, it's beautiful. 
Let's head inside. So very nice on the outside, but how does it look on the inside? Right now there won't be too much. Oh, he's sleeping. Wake up, buddy. It's a big day. Who? Who? Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm a bit of a night owl, don't you know? Drowsy in the daytime. Ah, but more importantly, hoo-hoo, if it isn't Zebra. As at long last, the Stripe Museum has opened this very day, no less. An impressive feat of engineering, craftsmanship, and good old island ingenuity, is it not? Of course, it was your very own donations that made it possible, so to you I say thank you. Now allow me to give you a quick overview of our fine institution's floor plan. You'll find there are entrances to the left, to the right, and into the basement. Each one leads to exhibit rooms wherein the donation collected thus far have been put on display. Ah, that is right. I have more good news to report. That is, the donation process has been streamlined. Henceforth, we will accept multiple donations at once. Furthermore, if you wish to learn more about a fossil or fish, or bug, I suppose, simply say, tell me about this. Hoot, hesitate not, I will happily oblige. Now, by all means, do please take a gander at our magnif magnificent collection. It is surely a thing of wonder. See, so yeah, we can donate multiple things at once now, which is awesome. Uh, might there be something with which I can assist you? Uh, make a dis donation. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? But I really do appreciate that we can donate multiple things at once now. Um, so I guess we have donated a pale chub at some point because we can't donate it now. So, um, yeah, let's just donate the whole host of stuff. Look at this. This will be a ton of fish, a couple of bugs. Woohoo! Several things I see. Let us take a look, shall we? Splendid. We will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, no need to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. Is there anything else I can help you with? I want you to assess fossils. Ooh, what would you like to assess? I'm all a flutter. So, can I make you choose more than one? Yes, I can. Everything's so convenient, I love it. Ooh, more than one I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Ooh, ooh, ooh. these are rare fossils, each and every one, and have not appeared in our collection. I say you have quite a knack for finding valuable fossils. Now, I do hope you will consider donating what you found. The culture development of Stripe is a worthy endeavor indeed. In the meantime, I shall return these to you, but think on what I've said and that the museum awaits. Okay, so, is there anything else I can help you with? Um, So I will go ahead and make a donation of those fossils and we'll read out what they are as we're moving th forward. So we have a brachio chest, a trilobite, anomalocaris, a stego skull for like a stegosaurus, and a quetzal torso. torso. Very cool. Woohoo, several things I see. Let's take a look, shall we? Splendid, we will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, no need to pull them out. All right then, very, very cool. That looks like all I have for right now. Jolly good, please enjoy the rest of your visit. And we can look at descriptions for all those if we wanted to, but that would take a bit of time. For right now, I'm a bit more interested in seeing maybe what some stuff we got was. Uh, yeah, fossil assessment. Yes, yes, you're getting nook miles based on the number of fossils you've had assessed. Dig up as many as you can and find out what they are. And that is going to be 300 extra miles. We're over 5,000 now, very good. Anything else? No, okay. So one thing I do wanna see is just sort of exploring the museum a bit. See what different bugs we have and seeing them explore in the little museum environment. Look at this, wow. And they're just sort of out and about. Like we have one right over this way. Ah, oh, eh, don't like it. Yeah, we can just sort of follow them around. Will give us information. We humbly ask your donations to add to our display at Stripe Museum. So like over here, will this tell me? Bagworm, March 21st, 2020, donated by Zebra. Wow, it's surprising they don't actually tell you any information from it about here. But yeah, that'll be really cool. I can't wait to one day be able to walk through this and be like, hey, here's all of our stuff. So there's a fish in there, but, hmm, what's this way? Oh, this is really cool. So let's, yeah, go over this way. Look at all the butterflies, wow! Tiger butterfly. And then over this way, common butterfly. Yellow butterfly. Emperor butterfly. Very cool. So one day, we're going to catch all of it and send it to the museum. We humbly ask for your donations. What's going on this way? Oh yeah, there was a little snail in one of the bushes there too. <laughs> this is awesome. Ooh. So we have a moth in there. So I guess there's different kinds of animals that maybe need like their own contained environment. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. Maybe a kind of turtle. Very fancy. So this museum is huge. I like it, it just keeps going. Oh, I like the little computer. 
Yeah, I wonder what kind of butterfly that is. Does it say here? Paper kite butterfly, okay. And has like little larva, not larva, pupa, I think. Um, basically, they're the little cocoons or the caterpillars that turn into butterflies. So we can head back down this way. I think it'll wrap around a little bit. So this is impressively detailed so far, more than I was expecting. And very relaxing as well. Look at this little bridge. Ah, I love it. This is great. What was down this way? This is, I think, the way we came in from, or at least it will be. Yeah, right over that way. Oh, it's so relaxing just to take a nice little stroll through here. I wish this was like real. I wanna go here in real life. And then there's a nice little bench. You can just chill out right here. Ah, relaxing. So that is the bug exhibit out of the way. We're not quite done though. Of course, we're going to go to some of the other exhibits. There should be the fossil and the fish one. I'm gonna save the fossil for last because that's the one I'm the most excited for. Uh, so fish over this way. So I guess there's no planetarium in this one. I know that there is like a, one of the Animal Crossing games, you can go and see the constellations. I don't know if that's in this one. That'd be unfortunate. Oh, the music here is nice. But yeah, these are just like giant aquariums. As you can see, we don't have many of them, but we'll keep working on it, try to catch all sorts of different fish. I mean, it's my favorite thing to do in this game is to fish for the most part. Yeah, a lot of very open and empty ones. What is this? Huh, I don't know, that's a little weird. But just the attention to detail is really nice. Like this is a top tier museum we got going on here. And going on into this room, what will this be about? Wow. So I guess this is for like nighttime fish? There's only one little fish in this big tank. Must be lonely, I sort of feel bad. Yeah, that's a horse mackerel. So I guess that must be for fish that normally swim during the nighttime. Huh. I wonder what's with this. I don't know. A little weird. Because it's not underwater or anything, so I don't know what would go there. And oh, what's going on? Oh, look at this. <laughs> I can see you. All right, well, that's amazing. I love it. So I think that's it for the fish, fish area. There might be another way up. Whoa, 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 where are we? Ah, we're over. Okay, so I guess we could go up and around and there's just more. What an amazing aquarium. This is so pretty. Oh, look at the little butterfly fish or whatever they're called. We only caught two of these, but we donated multiple sea butterflies. Wow. And what about this? Yeah, nothing. Nothing's in there right now. I love it. Super duper impressive. Okay, so I think that is for real the last of the, the fish museum part. Now we'll go into the, the fossil one. This is like so much, like I know the other museums were really cool, but this is like so much more than that. Just the interior design is super impressive. Not really too much up here though. I guess it's sort of like a nice area to sit and wait around. So here we are in the fossil zone. And this is definitely an area I want to improve. What does it say on the floor? Nothing I can read. Uh, whoa, wait, what is that? That's a trilobite. That's way bigger than I thought. <laughs> and then that is an amelocarus. So these are like different like bugs and stuff that were fossilized. That's a crab as well. But it doesn't tell us the description for that. That's not a bug, that might be a crab, yeah. Uh, but weird, yeah, it just like doesn't tell me. Hmm, anyways. Down this way, what do we got going on? Whoa, so this is part of the pterodactyl. Or no, well, Quetzalcoatlus. Please donate any missing parts. And we got the Pteranodon there. It's not quite finished, but it still looks amazing. And that looks like, I guess, the front of a dinosaur. Oh, actually, no, that's... Maybe there's two here, Stegosaurus and Ankylosaurus. Oh, I cannot wait to complete these. And we only got like the back legs of, what is this, a Stegosaurus? Brachiosaurus, oh, that's like the front of it. Gotcha. Because we also got parts of a T-Rex somewhere, there's a little tail piece. Oh, there it is, wow. T-Rex, 
That is awesome. I can't believe one of the first things we found was a T-Rex skull. Like, what a find. Whoa, look at this. A little diagram of the, the, the not the Big Bang, but one like the, uh, uh, the meteor hit the Earth and wiped out the dinosaurs. And what's going on this way? Aw, look at this. We got like little silhouettes of all the different villagers. I mean, obviously there's nothing here. Oh, can we donate the villagers? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, but it seems like a very fancy detail. I wonder where this door leads. I mean, it has me very curious. But yeah, look at all this. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder what this is about. Maybe one day we'll find out. I mean, I would sure hope so. Is there any other way to go, or is this a dead end? Okay, this is a dead end. So I think that's it for the museum. What an interesting situation. I really like it though. Definitely worth checking all that out. Stay tuned, because throughout this series, we'll try to fill that up more and more. Maybe one day we'll be able to say that we've completed the museum. What an awesome thing that would be. But for right now, <laughs> We got a lot of work to do. Whole lot of work ahead of us, so we might as well get cracking today. I wanna do plenty of fishing. I don't know when, because we, two episodes ago, we went to some islands, or one island, and we met a little eagle lady, and she said that she would move to our town. I don't think she's here yet. I wonder how long it takes her, but uh, it would be nice to see her. Okay. So, we do, of course, have like a couple of things to do since it is my first episode of today. Uh, starting with, um, what is it? Checking all the daily stuff. So, we have maybe some stuff in the recycling. Not really. Uh, what maybe will you have to sell? I can also sell this fish to you. Because, apparently, we don't need it. So, there we go. Have a pale chub. Probably only for like a few hundred bells or something. 200, yep. And... Let's talk to you again about building a shop. Oh yeah, no, we already know about this. I don't know why I was thinking. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, we need to see what he actually has available in the shop. And then we're gonna go to the island. That's what I wanna do, is go to the island and try to get more iron nuggets. So what's for sale? You should have some more daily stuff. Ooh, the barbecue and the outdoor generator. Both look really cool. I don't think I need either right now. I think that's his, isn't that like the second time he sold the outdoor generator? I guess so. So we should have enough. Welcome to Nook Stop, a multimedia terminal from Nook Incorporated. Uh, so that gives us some bonus miles. Yeah, four days in a row. Uh, I definitely wanna redeem some. Just for the Nook Miles ticket is what I'm mostly focused on right now. And then we actually would have enough to get like the top eight hairstyles, top eight cool hairstyles, stylish hair colors. Yeah, that's all the different things like that. Um, so let's get the ticket for right now. Yep, sounds good. Now generating a Nook Miles ticket. Your Nook Miles ticket has been printed. Please bring it with you to the Stripe Airport when you want to redeem it. And I definitely do. Uh, no, nope, not right now. We'll keep saving up our mileage, mileage, miles, <laughs> until we, uh, are happy with what we have, we can get more stuff, that'll be great, because I don't know how often we'll want to go to different um, islands and stuff. For right now, though, we got some more miles for spending our miles. Let's claim it, 200. Okay, so that's basically like it being 10% off, which is actually pretty cool. And it might also be good to run around the island right now, uh, catch some fish, see if there's any more holes to dig up. I don't have a very strong fishing rod at the moment, but I do not want to spend any more iron nuggets than what I have to. Oh, got it. I'm ready for you. And we get ourselves another loach. Well, that we can sell, that is for sure. Because I know, whoa, Biff upgraded, he's got a nice house now. Oh, here we go. Um, No, 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 not what I wanted. Maybe I should go ahead and catch that little pill bug before he gets away. Whoop, got ya. All right, pill bug. Now, switching back over to the shovel, let's see how much more we can get out of this. Nothing, darn, that really stinks. Anyways, Biff with his awesome house and a fossil out front, right? Yep. All right. So we got lots to do in today's episode, as you can see. Uh, first, let's talk to Biff. Hey, buddy, how you doing? The iron door, he has to lift weights just to leave his house. 
Wow, look at this. Hey, oh, welcome to my top secret hideout, Squirt. What's the latest? Guess what? I finally own something that even I have trouble lifting. Yep, I have my own house now, Squirt. It's got walls, a floor, even a ceiling. I can finally do jumping jacks without ripping a hole in my home. Yeah, well, you're doing great. I'm so proud of you. Got to talk, Squirt? I want to chat. When I wear something cool like my gold print tee, all my attention mounts away. Yeah, we talked about that last episode. Yeah, you do your leg rep, son. Well, isn't that great? I'm so happy for him. Hopefully, uh, Pashmina also has her house. That would be cool to see. Because their houses are such like a good reflection on their personality. And that just makes me happy. There's another rock chilling out here. I'll take up the stone. Yes! Yes! Oh. No. Hold on. That's not right. <laughs> yes! Ah, oh, okay, that's it. But three of them out of that one rock is really good. So it seems like my theory of the, the hunger seems to be working about um, being sure not to hit it when we're super high on hunger, unless we want to destroy it, which we do not. There's another shovel spot over this way. Whoop. Yeah, look at that. Fossil number two. Well, actually, technically fossil number three for today because we already caught one, but then we already had it assessed and donated. But more progress is more progress, I'll say that much. Hmm. So I'm looking around for more stones. Oh, a message in a bottle. Also pick up this shell, because why not? And let's take a look at that right now. Open it up. To whomever this may be, whilst taking a much needed hot bath, my mind dreamed up the most fabulous idea for a DIY recipe. I am compelled to share my recipe, so I've stuffed it in this bottle. It would please me if you made it. Fair away wishes, kitty. All right, well, let's take a look at it. It is the, what does it say, butter churn? Sweet, I learned a DIY recipe for a butter churn. So I guess we can churn our own butter, butter now. Interesting. What do we got down this way? More shells. Oh, here we go. No, I missed. Maybe it's not worth it. It's just gonna be one of those, uh, uh whatever they're called, shells. <laughs> the manila shell, something like that. So I'm still not quite sure. There's a couple of bugs up here on that little mountain area. I'm still not quite sure how we get to that. Maybe once we build the shop, that'll probably be like the next step, right? Ooh, this is a kite butterfly, I think. Whoop, no, wait. Whoop. Almost there. Aha! <laughs> Paper kite butterfly. So for that one, we are definitely going to sell it. Don't really need it. And I know there's a lot of weeds around here. I think cleaning this area up is something I'll worry about a little bit more once we get um, a bridge set up. Then I'll then I'll worry about sort of everything here. So bridges, uh, ladders, stairs, whatever it's gonna be. Oh, got it. Oh, it's another loach. They are all over the place. This must be a very common time of day for them. Let's get across like that. And we'll keep uh, looking around for more stuff to dig up, especially any kind of rocks. So that was, that was the rock we already messed with. Oh, hey, who are you? Um, hello? What, where'd you go? There's a tree in the way. Yeah, who are you? Hi, Sahara. Hello, you are calling me Sahara, for it is the name I have carried for as long as I have carried these rugs. I bring these rugs from my home, which is far, to help you decorate your home, which is near. I have small rugs, large rugs, and rugs of the medium space between. The design is seen after the buying. I have also mysterious flooring and wallpaper. Oh, how surprising you'll find it. Are you ready to buy? So I get a rug, a mysterious rug, mysterious flooring, or I'm not interested, so I never really get to know. Let's do a mysterious flooring. Mysterious flooring costs only 3,000 bells. Will it become yours? Just this time. Just, you know, I gotta experience everything you want, right? Now please, I will accept the money payment. Yes, thank you. Well, you're, le well, you're welcome, Sahara. <laughs> All right, we'll have to try that out. You will want more after this, yes? Using one will make you excited for another, and so on. Well, thank you very much. Hope you're doing well. On well, the flowers here grew. We got uh, Tommy out this way. Oh, Zebra, it's good to see you. How are you enjoying the island life? You probably already know that wood comes from trees, right? But 
You can get stones and other mineral materials from rocks. You can also shake trees, but if you want an ax, you can chip off pieces of wood too. And you can whack rocks with a hard object like an ax to break off their materials. Yep, we've been working on that. Oh, you know what I hear? I hear the, the gusts of wind. I think there's going to be some kind of uh, thing to catch. Um, but anyways, right now, got a common butterfly, which we will also sell. There's a bunch of butterflies out right now. Hiya! Oh, come on, let's at least get this one. Then I gotta look for that one slingshot thing. Tiger butterfly. So a lot of ones that we've already seen. And there's another one. <laughs> they are everywhere right now. Boom. I'm going to be able to sell all these too, because we've donated all these. We really must have the majority of stuff you can find right now. Ah, oh, except for we just scared something up. There's Pashmina's house. I'm trying to see though. I don't hear the whisper in the wind anymore. Oh no, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay. Uh... Oh, I'm a little too far forward, or too far back. There we go. Let, let's see what present we just got. That's always so much fun. That's one of my favorite things in, in Animal Crossing is whenever you get to do that, a pet bed. Oh, that's so cute. I want it. <laughs> I love it. It's a little bed for, you know, pets. Anything here? It's raining treasure. No one knows who sends these gifts attached to balloons to our island, but you can earn miles by shooting them down and collecting what's inside. Well, that's what I just did. We've done that five times. We now have 300 extra miles for it. Um, and as you can see, we caught five bugs. That'll be another 150. And what do we get as our new thing? It will be selling fruit. So I'll be able to do that. Actually, I can do that right now because we got lots going on. How's my inventory doing? Pretty full. Oh, well, there's a lot of oranges around here. Shake that up a little bit. And let's go over this way. Catch one more butterfly because, you know, why not? And we'll be able to sell all of them because I already have all of them. We haven't checked the bulletin board yet today, but I'll wait. Uh, yellow butterfly, yada yada. Let's go in the tent. So we're just doing a lot today. Trying to keep it jam packed. I'll be going to the islands very soon, but I, I also need to find more rocks and stuff, so. I wanna sell. Of course, what exactly are you offering? I am offering all sorts of stuff, my friend. Yellow butterfly, oranges, all of these butterflies, the loach, pill bug, and these shells, confirm. Look at all the fine things you've brought in today. Let me just a moment turn the numbers. And done, 4,590 bells, pretty good. So yeah, that was awesome. Now we have more daily tasks done. I always wanna clear them out so that the next thing can you know, be worked towards. Wanna make sure everything is achievable. See, so yeah, that should have been a daily, right there, 150. And then the next thing might pop up. And that would be spend bells to buy items. Oh, that would have been helpful for the rugs, but also earn bells by selling items. We're almost full with that one. And go ahead, be shellfish. So we sold shells and we got money. There we go. Not bad. Plenty more miles for us. Let's check out the bulletin board where there's nothing new. Occasionally people will post to the bulletin board. I don't know if there'll be anything like noticeable about it. Pashmina's house. I love this one. Very like earthy in a way. I like the bricks too, just very nice. And here she is. Oh, I love her table and her little workbench. Make yourself at home, okay? Let's talk. Oh, hey, big news. I have officially moved on to, from tent life. I got a house, kidders. I mean, tents are cool and all, but I can fit way more stuff in a house. Plus, now it is finally, it finally feels like I actually live here instead of just roughing it. I agree. Oh, need something, kidders? I just wanna chat. Pretty tight in here, ain't it? Yeah, it's not usually like this. <laughs> All right, well enjoy your new home. You deserve it. And we'll do one quick run around, I think, for any extra rocks that we can hit iron nuggets out of. Then I'll organize my inventory and try to get to uh, getting our fossils figured out and then go to an island and hopefully nothing distracts me in that time. <laughs> because that just happens a lot in this game, is that there's a lot of distractions. And it can be hard to get to what I wanted to originally get to. Which is overall like a fine thing, that just means there's more things to do, you know? But, it does make it hard when I'm trying to like, you know, say like, I wanna do this in today's episode. And it's been like an hour and I haven't done it yet. 
Anyways, that was a really quick catch right there. That is a Crucian Carp. We've already gotten one before, so nothing too wild there. Let's get across and start looking around for rocks. My number one goal. Because last episode we found a little wisp friend here. Oh, yet, yet again, we'll be able to make another money tree. Hopefully. Let's see, look, I dug up a thousand bells, but will it make more than a thousand is sort of the question. I mean, I think so. Bury in the hole. All right, good luck, little money tree. Grow to be nice and strong. Wow. Oh, I saw the shadow of my house and thought it was a huge fish in the river. It's like, whoa. So I don't know if there are any other rocks around. Doesn't look like it. We'll have to check up here real fast. Yep, no other rocks. Okay, that's a good thing. That means we can organize our inventory and we can just head on over to the, the whatever island we want to get to. Whoop. So, right over this way. Let's see what we can do. I mean, I don't know if there's too much I want to organize. Yeah, I mean, there's some of the iron nuggets and stuff. Uh, so, not the, not the fossils, but the iron nuggets I want to put in storage. I need 30 of those in total. Uh, we could also try the new flooring. Um, that I'll sell, place on floor. Huh. I don't think I like this one very much. Very dirty. So what was that one called? Construction site flooring. Great. Uh, and place this down. Let's go ahead and quickly organize this stuff. Uh, just like that. So can we slide that in right over this way? We can't, unfortunately. I could just put it on the table for now, right? Yep, there we go. And then a little pet bed. I don't know if we'll ever get a pet. Is that something you can do in this game? That feels like it wouldn't make any sense, uh, seeing how all the villagers are typically like pet type animals. Like, I don't know, that's weird. So maybe we shouldn't keep that forever. But for right now, it's fine. So now on over to Blathers, we'll get these fossils categorized and then we gotta keep moving. Just one step at a time. But yeah, very happy with the progress for sure. I think we'll definitely, as we keep playing, we'll figure out methods. We'll probably like swoop by everything, collect everything, and then start doing all the donations and selling. Um, so yeah, it says fossils. And we have three of them for you. All right, ooh, more than one I see. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Ooh, 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 these are rare fossils, each and every one of them, and have not appeared in the collection. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's see what uh, fossils we end up getting for that, and we'll of course throw it in because they're not a part of the museum just yet, so let's make a donation. What are the three that we got here? This is going to be Archelon Skull, Archelon Tail, and Spino Torso. I'm glad that we got more than one piece of the same dino because that's just a little bit closer to fully completing one which has me really excited. So with that being done, thank you so much for your time, Blathers. I think we're good to move forward. Just, uh, I think we have like one fish to sell, and then we are good to go get an island set up, and hopefully we find much more stuff there. I'm just, I really just need more iron nuggets. If we can do that, we'll be good. So yeah, sell the one fish. But yeah, I would love to hear how you guys have been doing, how much progress you've been making with your islands and stuff. I hope the you know as we continue to make progress, we can learn how to do different things when it comes to decorating the island. I, I can't wait to figure out how to do things like, uh, also, let's see how much this costs. Um, will I make my money back with this? Not even close, oh, yikes. You don't get what you pay for, do you? All right, well, well either way, I was more for the experience of doing it more than making my money back from Sahara. Yeah, I can't wait to make, make pathways and stuff. That'll be cool. Being able to decorate the island itself sounds like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, but for right now, we'll claim this. We made over 5,000, so very cool. And chop down a tree. That one's really easy. Might wanna go out of my way to do that right now because the sooner we can do it, the better. I don't think we ever checked on our money tree, did we? Where is that? It's right here. It's growing. It'll get there. I'll knock down this one. There it goes, timber. And I might just leave this wood here for now but I will dig up the stump. Got it. Uh, so that should be, no, 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 not what I wanted to keep playing. I do not, do not want to be done yet. 
claim that one, because the sooner we get these out of the way, the sooner we can get more, and that's very important. Um, so sell clumps of weed. We won't be doing that right now, but you know, we can do it soon, especially since I want to save the inventory space if I can. So here's the Sahara still walking around. Not gonna bother with her too much. Instead, we're going this way. So hello, my dodo friend, how are you? Hey, 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 welcome to your one and only getaway to the skies of the Stripe Airport. How can I help you get help you out today? I wanna fly. Roger. By the way, it looks like you've got a Nook Miles ticket on you, in case you feel like using that. So, just to get your, the paperwork all official, where did you wanna go? Um, I wanna use my Nook Miles ticket. So you wanna use your Nook Miles ticket, Roger. I'm ready to get you in the sky right this minute, but let's just check you all pack tools ready. Time for takeoff. All right, let's get you airborne. So yeah, we'll go to a whole new island in today's video, because every time you go out, it's a new island. Dodo one, this is Dodo Tower. Wilbur, you copy, Get a, got a walker who needs wings over. Roger, ready when you are. Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need to travel, just think, what would Dodos do? Okay, so we're off to a brand new island. Number one goal, find iron nuggets. Everything else is just extra. <laughs> so I hope we get lucky. If not, I'm gonna have to do all this again. All right, we are da two down and docked at the target island. Delta Oscar, Delta Oscars, go. Meanwhile, I'll be holding a pattern holding pattern here. Get in touch when you need tools or travel. Go catch some bees and chop some trees. I would love to. Oh wow, the flowers here are beautiful. Can I take them? Yes, I can. Can I plant those anywhere? Wow, and they're everywhere right now. Unfortunately, we can't hold more than a couple at a time though, because they don't stack. This is a very pretty island. Oranges though. Uh, I already have oranges, so that's not super exciting. But yeah, we'll do what we can. Maybe I should just try to get one of each flower. If I can't hold, like, you know, if they take up one inventory slot each, it might be best that way. Okay, so I can't even, like, drop them. I have to plant them, interesting. There we go. Oh, and we got our first rock. Will it offer up what I need? There's one! Uh, that's some clay. There's two, three, four, five, Oh, that's it, maybe because there's not enough space, but that's still five of them from one rock. That's a big deal. Thank you very much. Ah, that's it. So, there is a big fishy waiting for us here. We're gonna get him. Yep. Oh, come on now. Oh, and there's a couple of fish up there, but unfortunately, I don't think we have too much of a way to do that. Oh, immediately. I love this island, super relaxing. It is going to be a sea bass or a black bass. Well, I already have one, but you know, now we'll have another. Do we have an orange? Yes, we do. I do wanna organize this a little bit. I can't believe we already have five of the iron nuggets, and there's a little fish in here. Whoop, come on, little fishy. Wow, what is this, a little tadpole? Yes, I caught a tadpole. It's just a tad small. That is adorable, so that's something we can donate. Oh, hey, somebody's over here. But first off, we have some extra Nook Miles Plus uh, for catching five fish. I didn't even realize we hadn't done that one yet. <laughs> well, there we go. And chop wood, we need 10 of those. I might save that for when we get off the island because why bother doing that here when we can do that anywhere, you know? Hmm. But we can keep fishing. You never know, we might find another new fish just like that. Oh, look at him. He's like a little, is he a steer, a bull? Something like that, maybe an ox? He's very blue. Come on. Got it. Wow, you're new. A bluegill. You think it caused me pink lung? No, actually, maybe we have had a bluegill because I remember that. Uh, let's go ahead and hold so that we can get across and say hello to this guy. Hey, buddy. Stu. Oh, hey, nice to meet you, I'm Stu. Cool, so you're a zebra from Stripe? Man, that's real cool. Let's have some fun while we're here together. So yeah, he's definitely a bull. How are you doing? This island has so much nature. Every place you look is nature, it's real neat. I can stay here forever, pointing at stuff saying, that's nature. Man, it'd be real neat to live on an island like this. Full time, I mean, just living life. Pointing at nature. Wanna come with me? 
Huh? You live on Stripe, right? Is it like this there too? Whoa, then I wanna go. If your own is as cool as you, then I wanna go, Zebra. Oh, you're so nice. I'll be waiting for you. By the way, what should I do, do to move to Stripe? So if I call your Mr. Tom Nook, he'll tell me everything? Thanks, I'll call him and say hi. Today's the best day since I found out what Puschetti, Puschetti? You're so cute. Stripe sounds like a real great island. Is it full of bugs? I like bugs, we gotta talk bugs sometime. It is crawling with them. Maybe a little too many. <laughs> okay, so let's keep at it. Can we get ourselves more iron? Yeah, nuggets. Give me more, I'm getting a lot of clay, which is also good. Okay, that's it for right now, but maybe if I get some of this surrounding stuff out of the way. And there's some more rocks up there that I just can't quite reach. Total shame. Anyways, okay, that's it. But still, our haul is already up to eight of them. That's pretty good, because we need 30 in total. I don't think we have 22 back home, but we have a comparable amount, so like that's good. And there's a lot more fish waiting for us as well, so let's get fishing. Maybe do the little one first. Yeah, there's fish everywhere. There's a little, another little one down that way. Come on now. That's it. It's another bluegill. Even if it is repeats, we can sell them if we don't have any other use for them. Whoop. I don't know if that's gonna be the best thing. I'll try one more time. We might have to do that from the other side. Ah, uh, you might notice that one. Come on now, that's it. You got it, big guy. Oh. That's it. Come on now. Another black bass. I was sort of expecting that this time, though. So, uh, right now, try to catch you. Oh, landed right in front of you. How could you say no? And it's on the bluegill. It's a lot to repeats. <laughs> Stu's pretty happy about it, though. So yeah, with that being said, I mean, we'll continue to try to catch fish. I guess that'll be my, my main goal for the moment. Um, but that's mostly everything I can really try to strive to complete on this island. Oh wow, immediately, what a go-getter. Another bluegill. <laughs> We're getting a lot of these. Ah, oh, and there goes our fishing rod. So we can fish more, but we just have to go and get a replacement from uh, the dodo. So let's do exactly just that, maybe. Wait, did I ever do this one? I don't think I did. I think I walked right past us. Let's find out. No, I didn't, wow. Well, there's another one. No, 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 come on, come on. Oh. Ah, oh, that's it for this one. It's only one uh, iron nugget, but honestly, can't complain about that, can I? That's still very good. Did I dig these holes? Yes, I did. These were from all the flowers, wasn't it? Sorry, making a big mess. How embarrassing. Wow, lots of fish waiting for me, so. Let's talk to you because, oh, I scared one away, darn. Bell Bottom Blues, this is Stovetop Mixing Bowl. Do you require assistance over? I need tools. Tools, Roger, let me just pull up the mileage menu for you. It's where that costs miles, but honestly, it's fine. Flimsy Fishing Rod is 100 miles, is that gonna fly? Sounds good. I just, I don't wanna spend Iron Nuggets on it right now. Utilize it or f f futilize it. Give a squawk if you need anything else. But, we're good. Got the Fishing Rod back out here. And boom, there's a couple to find around here too. Like this is, oh, but that scares the rest of them away. That's a shame. It was a rock the whole time. This rock had it out to me, or out for me. Wow, that's weird. But there's another, no, that's a, that's a flower. That's a, the shadow of a flower trying to fool me. Where is this guy going? Come on now. But it is a shame that the one that I did get there was just a rock. Oh, but there are some by the beach. Ready? Go for it. Yeah, that's gonna get your attention. That's it. Come on now. Another rock! Okay, I'm starting to think this island's maybe ha having it out for me in general. There's just rocks that swim around on this island. Oh, we can go behind. Oh, that's fancy. That's a nice little shortcut now, isn't it? Now this better not be just an extra large rock. We're gonna find out. It's another one of these, is that a dab? Yep. 
Hmm. Oh, here we go. That actually seems very rock-sized compared to the other fish that were also rocked. So, gotta be careful. But, just gotta try our best as well. Where is it going? <laughs> Why are the rocks the hardest to catch? It keeps turning around on me. Come on, buddy, don't make this complicated. Just turn a little bit more. Now oh, he's got his own thing going on. This big rock in the way, too. Not making it any easier. Oh, here we go. This this has to get him. Oh, come on. It better not be another rock. Okay, I was gonna say, if it's another rock, I'm done. <laughs> Caught a bitterling. Well, we already have one of those, so no new fish here, actually. These are all repeats. Let's try this out, though. Ooh. Got it. And that is gonna be another loach. Yeah, lots and lots of, of uh, repeats. But we could at least fill up our inventory, though. Because even the butterflies that are flying around, they're definitely ones we've caught before. So maybe we just won't find anything new on islands. That's just like entirely dependent on the time and season. Not really sure. Got it. Ah, here we go. Get a little pale chub. I think it's time to use the uh, vaulting pole to vault over. That's it. Because we're looking for three more fish. And here's one of them. We can get you, right? Okay, come on. And it's another uh, dab. Two more. Either that or we can start getting an early start at getting some wood for the other daily challenge. I'm getting the big fish. There's no way this is another black bass, right? In a pond? I don't think so. Oh, okay, okay, I can't see. Wow, that is a carp. Um, if I can catch another, they can carpool. So I think that we have caught a carp before. So that's a bit unfortunate. That still have not gotten anything original here. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this is something new, but I don't know. Probably another dab, I had to guess. Oh no, it's a uh, sea bass. Yep, all repeats, but that's fine. And there goes our fishing rod, perfect timing actually. So with that, I think we're done. We can try giving another whack at the rock, but it looks like it's, it's finished. Oh, there's more fish. Oh, I didn't even see him on the flowers. I could have tried catching him. I don't see any more. I gotta keep my eye open for that. Okay, I think I'm good to go home. Uh, I'm ready to go home. You ready to punt pontoons and fly soaring rows here back to Stripe? You positive? Be very positive, because I wouldn't want you leaving anything behind. So again, you ready? Yep. And we also met a new potential villager in Stu. Roger lifting off November Oscar Whisker. And off we go. What a wonderful island adventure that was. I mean, we got plenty of iron nuggets, so can I really be all that unhappy? I don't think so. And there we go. So let's head back and start organizing our stuff. Definitely wanna make the most of that while we have the time to. I really wish we could have uh, gotten more of the stuff done, more of the uh, iron nuggets, but we'll just keep working towards that. Yeah, and this stuff hasn't like restored or anything. So up this way, we immediately wanna go inside and see what else we can do. I think that mostly it's just storage. So lots of fish. Let's put that in storage, put the rocks in storage as well. Any of the, you know, stackable materials. I don't know where we'll put these flowers. I just sort of wanted them. So let's take a look. How many do I have? For a second, I thought everything was gone. 19, so I need 11 more iron nuggets before we actually get to what I'm trying to get to. That's tough. And that's not even because, you know, like I also have to upgrade 
all my gear eventually, and that'll require iron nuggets, so we'll still have to collect some even after that point. It's gonna be a lot of work. Anyways, in the meantime, I'll make extra, extra sure everything I currently have isn't already donated, just in case maybe I was intending to donate something before and I accidentally just forgot and sold it. You never know, so, hello. Ooh -hoo. Okay, so all the basic stuff, make a donation, and, okay, yeah, the tadpole, almost forgot about you. There we go. So there's one new fish for us. Why, this is a tadpole. Now, might I interest you in a few fasts? And you know what? Why not? Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Undoubtedly, you know that tadpoles eventually turn into frogs. I must say, I find them impossibly adorable with their squiggly little tails, but even cuter when they sprout legs. Why, we can w witness accelerated evolution in these squirmy little ones. Ooh, it makes me so emotional. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. You have my gratitude. Nope, that's it. Jolly good, please enjoy the rest of your visit. So yeah, very nice. We have two potential villagers heading towards our island, and the two villagers we have are living it up. They have houses, they have an amazing museum to explore that is growing with its collection every day. It's going well. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do next episode, but you know we'll work on it then. Hopefully find more iron nuggets. But for right now, I just wanna sell what we have and be finished up. So you welcome, Zebra, how can I help you today? I wanna sell. Of course, what exactly are you offering? A bunch of fish. Look at that. <laughs> Look at all the fine things you brought in today. 4,320 bells, sounds good, sold. So yeah, with that, um, I think I will just buy another replacement fishing rod from him just to save us a moment of time. I don't wanna build it if I don't have to. Uh, no, that was selling, whoops. Uh-huh, <laughs> uh-huh. Uh it does, whenever you accidentally select the wrong thing, you sort of have to just sort of a sacrifice a couple of extra seconds. Just letting them all blab. All right, 400 pals, sounds good to me. And I think we'll leave it like that, yep. All right then, today's been a lot of fun. We'll keep making more progress in the next episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.